happens all the time. An underrated kid joins a team and is surrounded by players who are said to be better than him, but when he finally gets his chance, he breaks out and shines. The subject of today's video did just that and proved to the college football world that he was always meant to be the star of the team. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Penn State star running back Journey Brown and how he defied the odds stacked against him and how he defied the odds stacked against him to potentially become the next star running back out of Penn State. If you are watching this video, I'm guessing that you enjoy college football, so please be sure to take a moment and subscribe to the channel and help me reach 2.8k subs by the end of July. If you love college football, then you have no reason to not hit that button. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button, give me a video suggestion on who I should do next, and turn on post notifications so you never miss another upload. Now let's get started with the journey of Journey Brown. Journey J. Brown grew up in the small town of Meadville a quiet place in the rolling hills of northwest Pennsylvania. He loved football from a very young age, and he was also very good at it. He was unnaturally fast and became a dominant track star. Since he came from a small town in high school, he was not going to get much recruiting interest until he did something big. He quietly became one of the fastest track stars in the state, but he wasn't getting much attention on the football field. That was until he shocked the world. Believe it or not, in one game during his junior year, his team put up 107 points in the dominating win. Along the way, Brown rushed for a Pennsylvania single-game record of 722 yards and 10 touchdowns and only 30 carries. It was one of those games that you have to see to believe. And no, this was not a game of NCAA Football 14 with the sliders all the way up. When I first read this headline, I thought there was some sort of catch or that this was not true, but after reading it, apparently this did happen and that's just truly incredible. He broke a 65-year-old state record and his story was featured all over the internet and even on ESPN. Despite that incredible performance and a dominant junior season, the only school that he really got significant interest from was Temple. He truly believed he was going to be an owl for a while, but his dream was to play for Penn State. He developed a good relationship with then offensive coordinator and former Mississippi State head coach Joe Moorhead and some of the other coaches. The Nittany Lions didn't need a running back in their 17th class, but eventually they offered the in-state phenom a scholarship and it did not take long for him to commit. He also apparently had an offer from Duquesne and Syracuse, but overall, no one really knew who this kid was, and he was never expected to play a snap at State College. As I have said earlier, he was a dominant sprinter in high school, and he definitely could have gone to college for that, as he broke numerous state records, and even beat a former Olympian's 100 meter dash record. Despite the obvious speed and more than 7,000 rushing yards in high school, 24-7 sports only listed him as a three-star recruit, the number 51 running back, and the 918th best player in the class of 2017. I cannot find anything on the internet about why his name is Journey, so if any of you guys know, or he actually ends up watching this video, be sure to let me know in the comment section. Brown arrived in State College facing the reality that he was never going to see the field as a freshman because he was behind four experienced backs. With players such as Saquon Barkley, Mark Allen, Miles Sanders, and Andre Robinson in line to get snaps in 2017, Journey and the coaching staff determined it would be best for him to redshirt. The Lions were under head coach James Franklin and returned to uber-talented players including Saquon Barkley, Trace McSorley, and tight end Mike Gesicki. Barkley helped lead the Lions to a 7-0 start before they lost a heartbreaking comeback game to Ohio State and a close one the following week to Michigan State. They would end up finishing 11-2 after a win over Washington in the Fiesta Bowl. Journey spent that year getting stronger and developing his game. And his time was going to come. As a redshirt freshman, Brown was going to get a chance to play. Miles Sanders was expected to be the starter, and as we know, he took that job and dominated. He would get a chance to be the backup though, and he played his first game against Illinois. In that game, Brown carried the ball twice for 10 yards and scored his first collegiate touchdown. Sadly, carries were hard to come by for him though, as he only got 6 more in his last 4 games. As a freshman, Journey rushed for 44 yards and 8 carries and 1 touchdown. Penn State on the other hand, had a semi-underwhelming year as they went 9-4 and, and lost to Kentucky in the Citrus Bowl. With Miles Sanders going to the NFL, the Nittany Lions would have a 4-man battle for the starting running back spot. Former 5-star recruit Ricky Slade was expected to be the starter, but 4-star freshman Noah Kane and Devin Ford were also expected to get a ton of carries. Everyone seemingly forgot about the other guy, Journey Brown, but he would eventually get his moment and prove to all of them they should have known his name. Penn State was picked to finish 4th in the Big Ten East, and they opened up the season with a win against Idaho. Brown got 5 carries and scored touchdowns on 2 of them, proving his worth. Two weeks later, Journey had the best game of his career to that point after he rushed the ball 10 times for 109 yards in a close win over Pittsburgh. Ricky, Strait, Ricky Slade struggled mightily and Noah Kane battled injury, so Brown was going to try and reserve a starting job. 
It didn't exactly happen for a while though, as he didn't get many carries his next 5 games, but once the month of November came around, it was time for him to break out. Against Minnesota, he carried the ball 14 times for 124 yards and 2 touchdowns in a close loss. The following week, he rushed for 100 yards and a touchdown against Indiana, and 64 yards and a touchdown against Ohio State before a huge setback occurred. Hours after the Ohio State game, his cousin died unexpectedly and it was really tough on him. Fueled by the loss, he rushed for 103 yards and 3 touchdowns against the Scarlet Knights. Journey had solidified his spot as a starter now and his best was still yet to come. In their Cotton Bowl matchup against number 17 Memphis, Brown rushed for a career high 202 yards and 2 touchdowns, helping them win the game. On the year, he rushed for 890 yards and 12 touchdowns and that stat line would have been so much better had he not spent 7 games getting 3rd string carries. Brown went into the season as the forgotten running back, but as we enter the 2020 season, Journey is expected to be the star of the team and is rumored to potentially be a first round pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. He was so good that he scared off former 5 star recruit Ricky Slade and Slade hasn't even found a home in the transfer portal yet. Personally, I love Journey Brown and I cannot wait to watch him become a college football superstar next year. Enders becoming NFL stars, will Journey Brown become the next great Penn State running back? He technically has two more years of eligibility, but I think the NFL will be calling his name after next year if all goes according to plan. Will Journey Brown be the best running back in the Big Ten next year? I want to know what you guys think about that and who I should do my video on next. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to take a quick moment and smash that like button. Every like helps my channel grow. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and help me reach 2.8k subscribers by the end of July. If you are still here, check out my video about the rise of Chuba Hubbard and all my other videos about 2020 college football stars. And if you're a Penn State fan, check out my video about what happened to Christian Hackenberg. Until next time though, peace.